Hello, dear friends. Well, you have seen the thumbnail, so you might have guessed what we are going to talk today. Yes, you know we are going to talk about some amazing fact about Holofira. Ibs, sorry. Princess Holofira. Let's start with small, tiny, miny intro, okay? The traditional stories about her origin trace back to the 15th century are that she was daughter of the Byzantine ruler Tekfer of Belechik, called Holofira, or hence Father Osman raided Belechik. At the time of Holofira's wedding arriving there with rich presents and disguised and hidden soldiers, Holofira was among the loot and given to Orhan, in particular her Ottoman name Nelufer. Meeting water lily in the Persian language, she was the mother of Murad I, or Han's successor. Nilufer Hatton and already Nilufer Hatton Soup Kitchen, a convent and ex-hospice for dervishes, now housing the Iznik Museum in Iznik, Bursa Province, was built by Sultan Murad in 1388 to honor his mother after her death. Let's move to the amazing facts. Fact No. 1. Holofira or Nilufi Hatton had eight different names. First one was her birth name Holofira. Second one was when she reverted to Islam and changed her name to Nilufer Hatton. Her other name were Olivira, Balin, Belen, Balin, Bailan Siyun and Sulan. Fact number two. Sultan Orhan had four wives. Despite of this fact, his most loveliest of all was none other than Nilufer Hatton Holofira. He loved her so, so much that there is a famous story about them. Nilufer Hatton one day went to the bridge, which is known as Nilufer Bridge today along with the other two wives Orhan Theodora and Esporka. She went there to ease her pain as she oust her elder son Suleiman. Soon Orhan joined her as well and they went on a walk. Orhan saw the lily and he went to pick it up. While Nilufer was sitting under the tree, Orhan smelled the lily and said, which lily is better mine? Or this one? He came and seated with Nilufer, he gave the lily to her and said, of course, no doubt my lily is much better unique and one and only. At this, Nilufer blushed a lot. Did you like this fact or not? If you liked, good. Let's move to next one. Nilufer Hatton took the legacy of her mother-in-law, Mal Hatton and acted as reagent in the absence of Orhan. She was the power and control by Orhan. After his mother death Malhattan, she was the first Ottoman queen who received this title and power, as she was trained by her mother-in-law. So, she was very experienced in politics and other things. She performed the duty marvelously that it is stated in history by European and Turk historians. Let's move to fact number four. Let's move to fact number four. There is a river near to Bursa that is also flowing under Nilufer Brig and dedicated to her name and known as Nilufer River. The Nilufer or Nilufer River is a river in Turkey from its source near Mount Yuladag and flowing past Bursa. The river tends to the northwest along its course of 203 kilometers. Fact number five. Ibn Ibatuta, who was historian and a traveler, once visited Iznik. He says in his book that he was greeted by a very religious Muslim Hatton. She was the one who was handling the castle and its entire work. He said that he stayed there for a long time and she still stayed there. He also stated that she was the wife Sultan Orhan Nilufer Hatton. This narration of Ibn Ibatuta points out that she lived separately in Iznik rather than living in Bursa with Orhan. She waste most loveless wife of Orhan still lived separately and Orhan also in his life traveled a lot in his own conquered castles. This fact about her is quite confusing and tricky. That's enough for today hope you enjoyed it took almost three hours to make. Now be good viewer and do this please. See the magic! No skipping! A lily for you!
The ally Hafiz 